What is going on, beautiful guardians of the internet? It is Mesa Sean back at it with some Destiny. This will continue my PvP 101 series, and we're going to go over skirmish and salvage because they pretty much go hand in hand with regards to tactics. So let's get into it. So real quick point with regards to salvage, started playing it all morning and <laughs> just be wary of what lobbies you're in. Um, I had mixed results. This this game was really good. However, there were a couple of games where we were up against um, a party of three three guys that were all level 24s. Now, not that they had level advantages, but their gun skill was redonkulous. This one guy was using the same exact gun I was using, the Cydonia AR-3. And he would just look at me and land head and upper torso shots, drop me in two to three shots. So Skirmish is pretty self-explanatory. It's a 3DM spin on Team Deathmatch, and you have revives turned on. Now, you win Skirmish not by just overall kills, but combined points. And those points come from revives. So you really want to be careful with regards to going for your revives. When you do revive someone, you and the person you revive get a temporary shield. Not 100% sure how long that lasts, because there was a few times where I re re revived someone and then I quickly died shortly. I mean, it was just within a matter of seconds. So I think that shield you both get is really short. Now this is also obvious, do not play skirmish if you're not with a three-man party with microphones. I tried it with just a buddy of mine, two of us, and a third person didn't have a mic. We got destroyed, we couldn't win one game. So you gotta have three people with mics, and simple principle with skirmish is find an area and lock it down. Like uh, we were playing a Rusted Lands yesterday, and you know that big room where a domination is? That room was just where we were trying to lock down the whole time. And then when we couldn't get it, because it was only two of us on mics, they took it over and the whole game we would, we just kept trying to go to that room trying to get them out of there and get in there so quick tip on skirmish now salvage has the same basic principle in where it's three players revives are turned on I'm pretty sure but not hundred percent maybe you guys can confirm it I believe the revive points you get also contribute to your overall score with salvage not hundred percent sure but salvage is basically like hard point from Call of Duty where random areas you have seven different areas will randomly spawn a control point here I'm going to it right now and you got to deploy your probe to it lock it down and then protect it now the more people you have on that particular area the quicker it will lock down now another thing I always say now or but that's when I'm switching points. When you do die and have to respawn in and you didn't get a revive, I find, particularly in Salvage, you, you spawn way far out. Look at how far I spawn back. And on a map like this where there's no vehicles, it's going to take me a long time to get back over there. So you really want to be weary and in constant communication with your teammates with regards to revive. So, And basically it's just a combination of points of just uh, getting to those areas, locking them down, and then protecting them the whole time. So uh, let's get into the different classes and some things that could help you out. I was using the uh, Hunter. As you know, I'm, I'm still working on my Hunter class. I'm up to level 20 now. Unlocked Blade Dancer, but if you look at my last video, I'm grinding through those Blade Dancer abilities without actually having to use the Blade Dancer. I've been running into a ton of Blade Dancers, particularly in Salvage and also in uh, Control last night. And Blade Dancers, they're super. They're, they're just animals when it comes to their supercharge. So I can't wait to get mine all decked out and start using those super abilities. But let's get into what classes and uh, particular subclasses you'll find most beneficial to both Skirmish and Salvage. So one subclass is the Defender Titans. They are very, very useful. Ran into a couple of them. They're difficult because they can give their team shields and also a little damage boost that can actually, um, a clutch ward can actually stop a Nova Bomb or a Golden Gun from totally wiping out your team because uh, there were times with my uh, Hunter where I just mauled them all, all three of them with my Golden Gun, especially because I've got it upgraded to take out multiple targets. So with regards to Warlocks, you know, they, they have a little more flexibility, but in particular the Sunsingers can be really advantageous because they've got high grenade counts, and on these smaller maps it, it could be really useful, but you know what, with a Sunsinger, I would pick the Song of Flame because it's going to lower the cooldown times of all the people that are around them. So similar how, you know, the Titans are using a shield to, pr to protect all his teammates around him, because guys, you're going to be all together trying to lock down that area. Sunsingers can lower the cooldown times of all your allies. However, the Voidwalker Warlocks, you know, their Nova Bomb Vortex um, actually can destroy wards and then leave behind a damaging area that affects everyone that's trying to get out of there, or, or at least leave them very weakened. Now, with the Hunters, you know, I was having a good old time always with my Golden Gun, with my Gunslinger. However, those Blade Dancers, they just turn into animals. 
um, and they can be very, very effective with their Arc Blade, as well as the Blades, ra uh, the Arc Blades Razor's Edge. You know, you combine that with the teammate's uh, Fist of Havoc Shockwave, you could totally destroy a ward if you run into one of those Titans that's putting that shield up. So just be careful, guys. Again, make sure you go in there, or at least for, I would say, salvage more than anything. I was just running into all people above 20. Uh, highest I saw I think was 24s and they, these guys were just unstoppable not because of their level advantages because of their skill and of because of their uh, again strength intellect and discipline they all have maxed out and have quicker cooldown times aids their abilities aids their grenades everything else doesn't give them any health you know any more health or anything or protect them in terms of uh, you know taking damage from guns you know again I'll say it's one guy was using the same gun as me but he was headshotting me like a bandit I, I looked at him and I died and that is pretty much it for this, guys. But just a quick reminder, always when you go into your universe map to choose your destination, really pay attention to the left-hand side to see what your daily and weekly activities are. You know, like for yesterday, it was Rumble with uh, bonus XP, so I was just having a blast with that. And finally, they came comfortable using shotguns and not uh, so upset as I get killed by them so much. But uh, yeah, you know, like today there was a uh, more difficult strike uh, available for us on the moon, so, you know, jumped into there. And yeah, just... Unlocked a ton of new stuff today, and so really pay attention to that. So that's it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel see fit. Ugh, I, I always ruin the outros. If you see fit, <laughs> drop me that like and follow me on the Twitter at Mesa Sean and follow my stream twitch.tv forward slash Mesa Sean. That's it, guys. See you on the next video. Thanks.